Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the class. Our practice today begins in a standing position. Separate your feet a little bit wider. Bend your knees. As you're softening your knees, tailbone goes slightly under, so your low back can relax. And place the both palms on the belly. Close your eyes. And first, just observe your natural breath. Anything you can do to relax your breath a little bit. If you need to exhale through the mouth a few times, do that. And for now, just observe if there is any kind of movement happening under your palms. Slowly start to deepen your breath, pushing the belly forward, expanding it on an inhale, on an exhale, drawing it a little bit more in, and when that happens, notice the tailbone goes even more under. Inhale, it slightly expand, maybe tailbone rocks back a bit, and as you exhale, push it even more under and forward. So notice this subtle rocking in the pelvis. We're moving into the Kapalabhati breath. So please open your eyes. Send your gaze at one point with the face relaxed. Send your attention towards your navel, towards your abdomen. First round of Kapalabhati, relax your belly, inhale. Exhale, push your navel in. Continue. Inhale normally. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, palms on your low ribs, elbows pointing to the side. Inhale, into your palms, into your ribs, feel expansion. Hold your breath. Five. Four. Belly slightly engaged. Three. Two. One. Exhale, release. Knees bent, close your eyes. If you feel a little dizzy, eyes open. Observe your breath. We'll have one round, but this time just keep your arms along the sides or palms on the hips, whatever feels more comfortable for your arms, for your shoulders. Concentrate on the belly once again, relax it, inhale. And begin, exhale.
Normally inhale. Full complete exhale. Palms in the low ribs. Inhale into the palms. Hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Release. Eyes closed or eyes open. Relax your breath. Who's familiar with the Ujjayi breath, starting to contract your throat a little bit. See if you can contract your throat a little bit more as you inhale and a little bit less as you exhale. This type of the breathing will promote the menu's return to the heart. On the inhale, increasing the air pressure into the chest and the abdomen. With the next inhale, opening the eyes. I will turn to the side. You can stay right there. You're going to place the feet on two parallel lines. Right foot in front of the left. Separate your feet as wide as you need so your hips feel comfortable. You don't need to twist your hips anywhere. Arms along the sides. On an inhale, reach your heels up in the air. Reach your arms up, palms facing out. Pull your belly slightly in and up. And exhale, lower down, heels press down. Inhale, reach it up, exhale down, continue. Next time inhale, reach up, hold, and exhale down. Extend your arms in front of you, spread your fingers. Now pay attention on your palms and on your left foot at the same time. So as you moving fingers up and down, at the same time you rolling onto the back foot and then rolling back. Try to do that at the same time. Maybe at the beginning you'll feel a little bit confused, but with the time as you're starting to pay attention on your movement, You'll get used to this two different exercises, two different movements. Mm -hmm. Shake your hands, change the position of your legs, place another foot in front. <sighs> Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, down. Continue. We begin today with bringing attention on the periphery of the body, on the palms, on the feet. And this little movement is a great challenge for our mind. Reach your arms up, heels up, and exhale, release. This time, extend your arms to the sides. We're doing the same thing, but the arms are in a different position. Up and down. Rolling onto the foot and rolling back. You don't need to go too fast for this movement, especially the movement with the foot. Just to your comfortable speed. You don't need to synchronize the breath and the movement. The movement happening a little bit faster than your breath. And release. Shake your hands, change, place another leg in front. Now we continue challenging, confusing our mind. Interlace, our fi interlace the fingers and you're going to draw the number eight in front of you, leaning slightly forward at the same time, circle your back foot. A few times one direction. Can you keep your attention? At two places at the same time, performing the different tasks. Reverse. Reverse the movements of your hands. At the same time, the movement of your back foot reversed as well. Mm 
perfect stretch your palms up inhale open the centers of the palms pull your kneecap slightly in exhale release change place another feet in front now interlace your fingers and let's place another pinky on the top number eight and circle shoulders relaxed feet relaxed reverse everything Perfect. Back foot down, reach up, inhale, pull the belly slightly in. And exhale, release. Step your feet together. Feet together, toes relaxed. Inhale, reach your arms up. Interlace your fingers, stretch your palms up and reach your heels up in the air. Nice, big inhale here. Exhale, heels down, then slightly to the left, opening the right side of the body. Inhale into the right. Exhale, come back in the center, round your spine. Inhale, reach up, heels up. Exhale, heels down, go to the right. Inhale into the left. Exhale, come back and round your spine. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Interlace your fingers another way, another pinky on the top, heels up. Exhale, heels down, side stretch. Inhale into the right side. Exhale, come back and round your spine. Inhale up, heels up. Exhale, heels down, side. Inhale into the left. Exhale, come back and round your spine. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, interlace your fingers behind your spine. Move your shoulders slightly back and down. Chin up. Exhale, chin down. Continue. Return to the center, move your head from side to side gently, using only the weight of your head. Keeping the shoulders in one line. And come back in the center. Release your arms along the sides, palms facing forward. And step on the front of the mat, Tadasana, close your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs, bend your knees a little bit. Inhale, slide your palms on your shins, look forward if you need, bend your knees once again. And exhale, step back into the plank pose, high push up, firm your shoulders, engage your core, holding it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, drop your knees, child pose, balasana, forehead down, elbows lifted. Breathing into the back muscles, into the back side of the lungs, the back of your heart. Each inhale reaching forward with the palms, each exhale reaching back with the hips. Inhale, lift your head, look forward. 
and transition forward sliding your palms under the shoulders for the tabletop point your feet back on an inhale arch your back look forward on an exhale push the floor away around your spine continue along with your breath times choose your own rhythm the next time when your spine will be rounded we're moving into the circular movement go with a circle around the invisible line below your torso Reverse. Spine rounded and come back to the neutral. Separate your palms wider so they will not stay on the yoga mat anymore. I'm going to turn to show this movement. For this movement, you're still imagining there is a line under the torso, but now you're moving only with your chest. With your elbows pointing to the side, you go as close to the floor as possible and then lifting up. So this happening in the center of your chest. Let's go. Go for the circles. At the same time, trying to keep the pelvis as still as possible. And reverse. Elbows pointing straight to the sides. Palms stay on the floor. And center. Bring your palms back to the yoga mat. And flip one palm, palm facing up. Gently press into your wrist. And down. Flip another palm. Facing up. And down. Again, situating the palms under the shoulders. Now starting to work with the legs. Pick your left knee up, left foot stay flexed, and reaching the left leg till the thigh will be to the parallel with the floor or a little bit higher. Lock your belly so you're not over arch. Inhale, keep pressing your heel up. Exhale, point your foot, knee to the chest. Inhale, foot flexed up. Exhale. Inhale, engage your left glute. Exhale. Inhale, one more up. Now exhale, round your spine. And slowly move your left knee to the side till your thigh will be in the parallel with the floor. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale, move it to the side. Exhale to the chest. One more time, inhale to the side. Exhale to the chest and bring your left knee down. Move your right knee more backwards as you're placing your left thigh on the top of your right. And then sending your hips back to your heels. Your thighs are squeezing towards each other. You're reaching your palms forward. Almost like a child pose, but your legs crossed. 
feel the pull along your left glute and the outside of your left leg. And come back, inhale. Palms and knees, four points. Arch your back, look forward. Exhale, round your spine. Flip with one palm, palm facing up, releasing the wrist. And switch. Flip another palm, facing up. Coming back. Repeating on the opposite side. Reaching the right thigh in the parallel with the floor, locking the belly. Inhale. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, up. Exhale, pause here. Now inhale, move your right knee to the side till the right thigh in the parallel with the floor. Exhale, towards the chest. Inhale to the side. Exhale. Inhale to the side. Exhale. Drop your right knee down. Slide your left knee more back. As you bring in the right thigh on the top of your left, sitting back. And reaching with the palms forward. You can go on the fingertips as well. That will help you to release the tension from your wrists. And perhaps get more space, spacious feeling, the spaciousness in the chest for the shoulders, collarbones. Palms down to the floor, come back, and we're returning to the downward facing dog. Walk from side to side, relaxing the head, finding the alignment in this pose. The belly falls under the ribs, head relaxed, gaze back towards your toes. Inhale, lift your heels. Transition forward into the plank pose. Exhale, knees down. Hips lifted, chest and chin down. Extending the legs, pointing the feet back. Shoulders back and down. Slightly lift your chest, cobra. Now exhale from the low back, push back. And back in the down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees down, chest and chin down. Extend your legs. Inhale, chest slightly up. Exhale, push back. Down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Walk forward, grab your elbows, release your spine. Release your arms completely, slowly one vertebra at a time, rise up, shoulders back and down, returning to Tadasana, mountain pose. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Concentrating on the breath. Inhale. Exhale, palms together towards the heart. Left elbow goes to the outside of the right knee. Pressing into the right knee, we're twisting to the right. Make sure those knees, feet stay in one line. Look to the right. Feel the point of connection, the elbow and the knee, the right foot into the floor. Feel the stability through these two points. And then slowly step back with the left foot, arriving in a twisted lunge. Inhale, palms to the chest, look forward. And exhale, pivot your back foot, warrior two. Palms facing down, relax your shoulders. Think about the space created between the shoulder blades. 
look over your right arm. Right leg straight, inhale, palms facing forward, hips moving to the left, right arm reaching to the right, to all the way to the shin, and left arm up to the sky, Hita Trikanasana, extend the triangle pose. Left palm to the side, look down. Bend your right knee as you transition your weight forward towards your right foot and right palm. You can use the block on the right palm if needed. Half moon pose, left leg lifted, left arm lifted as well. Reaching the limbs in all directions, like a rays of the sun. Exhale, soften your right knee, look down. Both palms on the hips as you're closing your left thigh. Keep reaching your left heel back. Palms together towards the chest. Warrior three. Bend your right knee, left foot steps close to the right. Reach your arms up. Exhale, palms to the heart, bend your left knee, hug your knee up closer towards your chest. Point your left foot back with a crown reach up. If you're still trying to balance here, if you feel a little wobbly, just stay here, breathe. Otherwise, right palm stay on your right knee as you twist to the left. And with the left arm reaching behind you, looking along the left arm. Inhale, come back, palms to the heart. Step back with your left foot, high lunge. Adjust your feet so the back heel lifted. Reach your arms up. Exhale, palms on the hips. Slowly drop your left knee down and point your left foot back. Pressing slightly, the pelvis down towards the floor, at the same time rising up with the chest. Ashvasan Chalasana, arms up. Exhale, palms down to the floor. Stepping back into the plank pose and rolling into the left palm. Reaching the right arm up. Right foot can be in front of the left or right foot can go on the top of the left. And now if your right foot was on the top of your left, place it in front of your left foot. Drop your left knee down to the floor. Lift up with your right foot in front in one line with your left knee. And sliding your right palm along your right leg, reach your left arm up. Draw your ribs slightly in. Parikhasana, side stretch. Inhale, come back. Exhale, palms down. Transition back in the downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Walk forward to the top of the mat. Knees bent, slow, slowly rise up. Roll your shoulders back and down, Tadasana. You stay there, I will turn around. We're switching on the opposite side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, Utkatasana, chair pose. Feel the stability through the lower part of the body. There should be no discomfort in your low back. Inhale. Exhale, bring your palms together towards your chest and bring your right elbow to the outer left knee. Look down, make sure your knees in one line. 
as you're twisting to the left, look to the left. Keeping that tension in the points between your right elbow and left knee, between the left foot and the floor, step back with the right foot, twist at lunge, inhale bring your palms towards the chest, pivot your back foot, warrior two, Virapadrasana B. Left leg straight, hips to the right, left arm to the left, triangle pose with Hitha Trikanasana. Attention goes to all points of periphery, to the fingertips, to the tips of the toes. Right palm on the hip, look down, shift your weight into the left foot and left palm or the fingertips. Picking the right leg up, half moon. Right palm on the hip, slowly closing the hip. Warrior three, palms towards the heart. Right leg active. Reaching back, left leg strongly onto the floor. If you will add on this reach, it will be easier to keep the balance. Exhale, right foot down, next to the left, arms together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to the heart, pick your right knee up. Option one, stay here. Option two, Left palm on your right knee and right arm reaching back behind you. Look, be look along your right arm. Come back. Palms together. Step your right foot back. Reach your arms up, high lunge. And exhale slowly, right knee goes down, right foot pointing back, very gently press into your hips, chest rising up, Ashva Sanchalasana or low lunge. Exhale, palms down, step back into the plank pose. Roll onto your right palm, left arm up, side plank. If your left foot was on the top of the right, place it in front of the right. And right knee goes down, lift up, left palm on your left leg, right arm above your ear. Inhale back, palms on the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. Look forward, walk forward to the top of the mat. Knees bend, spine rounded, rise up. Roll your shoulders back and down. We came back to the top of the mat. Separate your feet wider. It's almost, they're almost staying on the sides of the mat. Bend your knees at the same time, keep pushing your hips back till your torso will be almost in the parallel with the floor or in the parallel with the floor. Option one, keep your palms on the hips. Keep reaching with your crown forward. Option two, slide your arms under your thighs, palms facing up and fingertips reaching back.
Exhale, palms down. Downward facing dog. Right arm up. Right leg up. Bend your right knee. Open your right hip. Exhale, step your right foot behind your right palm. Back foot flat. Come up halfway, interlace your fingers. Humble warrior, chest up. And send your chest down to the inner right knee. Option, move your arms away from your back. Inhale, rise up, right leg straight. Now you're turning your feet in the parallel with each other. You don't need to stay straight on your mat. You might be in a slight diagonal, that's okay. Just make sure your feet in the parallel with each other. Inhale, slightly arch. Exhale, fold, prasarita pada uttanasana. Slide your arms along your legs, elbows pointing to the sides. Inhale, fingertips down, half lift. And then step or jump your feet a little bit closer towards each other. Bend your knees, squat malasana. If you need to lift your heels, do that. Engage your pelvic floor to support internal organs. With your right elbow, press into your right knee. Extend your right arm straight and reach with your left arm in a diagonal. Return. Inhale. Exhale. Switch. Return. Palms together. Inhale. Exhale. Palms down. Fold. Grab your elbows. Bend your knees, look to the top of the mat, transition your palms to the top, step back. Separate your feet wide, walk your palms back towards your feet. Bend your knees and once again, sitting deeper so the thighs in the parallel with the floor. Option one, option two, swipe your arms under your thighs, fingertips reaching back. Palms down, walk forward, down dog. Left leg up, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, step your left foot behind your left palm. Back foot flat, come up halfway. Interlace your fingers, send your chest down. Arms away from your back. Stay there, I will turn. Rise all the way up. And once again, a slight diagonal, you turn. Feet in the parallel with each other. Inhale, arch. Exhale, fold. Elbows to the sides. Fingertips down to the floor, half lift. Gently step or jump, feet closer. And bend your knees, squat down, palms together. Reach up with the crown. Either stay here, or extend your right arm straight, left arm in a diagonal. If you want to go deeper, make a look around your right leg. Come back, inhale, exhale, switch, perhaps making a look. Inhale, come back, exhale, hold over your legs, rub your elbows. 
turn and look to the left. Palms down. Step back down, dog. Drop your knees down. Child pose, balasana. Moving into the pigeon pose in a few moments. So please look forward. As you're coming up, drive your right knee towards your right palm. Open your right leg a little bit. Left leg long behind you. Inhale, slide the arch. Exhale, fold forward. If you can, keep your elbows on the floor, palms together, forehead down. And send your fingertips towards your neck. Inhale, come up. Right palm stay down. Turn slightly to the left as you bend your left knee, option one. Flex your left foot. Option two, grab your ankle and pull it a little bit closer. If it's really close, you can point your foot and press on the top of the foot, turning the elbow slightly up. Exhale, let go. Palms down. Slide your right leg back, left leg forward. Sitting in between the feet for Gomukhasana, you can sit on the blanket or on the block. Trying to bring the feet in one line, feet facing back behind you. Palms on the front knee, reaching up with the crown, option one. Option two, right elbow up, left elbow down, lock behind your spine. release now listen carefully you can take a look first we're going to come back to the same position but with the opposite leg on the top for that we're going to turn back through the left side and through the both feet returning to go mukhasana take your time adjust at the end And if you had your upper body working on the previous one, do that again. Right elbow up, left elbow down. Exhale, release. Transition forward, palms down. Plank, engage your thighs. And down dog. Knees down to the floor, child pose. Inhale, look forward, left knee forward, pigeon. As you fold, see if you can place your elbows down, forehead on the floor. Release, palms down to the floor, left palm stay down, bend your right knee, either stay here, grab your ankle, option two, maybe press into your foot and elbow pointing up. Let go, sliding the left thigh on the top of the right, sitting once again in Gomukhasana. Feet facing back. Option one, palms on the top knee. Option two, right elbow down, left elbow up. Release. Now we're going through the right side. Turn back and switch. Feet in one line. Option one, palms on the knee. 
Option two, left elbow up, right elbow down. Release. Transition forward and step back, plank pose, engage your thighs. Downward facing dog. Drop your knees down to the floor. Sit down, extending your legs forward. Point your feet. Palms behind you, fingertips pointing towards your feet. Push your chest up, lift your hips. Purvottanasana. Hold it 10, 9, 8. Don't let your head drop back. 6, 5, 4, 3, two one hips down move the flesh of your buttocks behind feet flexed bend your knees a little bit slightly arch folding forward Paschimottanasana. if you can extend your legs straight without lifting your belly if you see that your fingers are beyond the line of your heels you can try to grab your feet and pull yourself closer towards your legs Inhale, rise up. Sit closer towards your heels. Lay down on your back. Hug your knees towards your armpits. Take the happy baby pose, Ananda Balasana. Feet flexed, knees reaching to the sides of your torso. Release your feet down to the floor. Shift your hips to the left. Left knee towards the chest, right leg straight. Twist your left knee to the right. Extend your left arm to the left. Inhale, return. Shift your hips to the right. Left leg straight, right knee to the chest. Twist your knee to the left. Inhale, come back and extend your legs straight. Shavasana. Turn your palms facing up. Release the legs, release your feet. Close your eyes. Take a deeper inhale through the nose. And a full complete exhale. begin Shavasana today with a balanced breath. In a few moments, you will hear a particular sound. The sound will consist of two parts. You will notice it. One part and another. One part inhale. Next part, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep linking the ratio of your breath, your breath to this sound. Notice how your breath merging with the sound that you hear.
Let go of the control over your breath. Allow the body to figure it out by itself. No control over posture. No control over the breath. No control over your thoughts. Everything just being as it is.
Slowly bring your attention to the space between your eyebrows. And mentally return to the moment here and now. Become aware of the space around you. Become aware of the body, the shape of it, the borders of your own body. Feel how you can move in any way that feels pleasant right now. Eventually, Bringing yourself up into the seated position. Let your palms rest on your knees. Let your eyes close. Our practice of asana and pranayama is over. You can continue your practice today, moving into the meditation. or returning to your day. Thank you for your practice.